Hey, this is Andrew at the Chugach National Forest Avalanche Center. It's February 10th and we're on a northeast aspect of 2100 feet up the Lynx Creek drainage. We rode up here with one of our main objects objectives was to check and see whether the snowpack in this kind of middle zone is behaving more like what's going on in Summit with the thin weak snowpack or what's going on in the core area in Turnigan Pass which tends to be thicker and stronger and we found something kind of in between. So our New Year's crust was buried uh, around a meter deep here and then I actually am standing right above the ground here and all this snow is from that early season Halloween storm. There are no alarming layers in this pit of, associated with those crusts, but what we did see on our ride in was a ton of activity from the strong winds over the last 24 hours. And from where I'm standing in the pit, I've counted at least five different crowns that are several hundred feet wide, but they look to be somewhere in the neighborhood of a foot or two deep. Um, and what, we're, what we think is going on with that is that we have these fresh wind slabs sitting on top of various storm snow interfaces that will be sensitive for a couple days and they heal rather quickly. Looking ahead, we're expecting to see another round of snow and wind tonight and with that we'll probably see some more of these natural avalanches possible and even trigger avalanches will be likely as, it, as slopes continue to get loaded. Um, you can stay tuned for updates at chugachavalanche.org.